Auction is still going on in the back. It benefits the high school programs that benefit by the Maxwell Club. And that's what we're honoring and that's what we're doing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Greasy Neal Award for NFL Coach of the Year. Pro Coach of the Year. The top performer at the NFL ranks. Name for former Eagles coach and two-time champion Earl Greasy Neal, who won back-to-back -back NFL titles in 1948 and 1949. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And here to present tonight's Greasy Neal Award is a sports writing Hall of Famer in the NFL, an analyst, the godfather of Philadelphia football, WIP Radio, NBC Sports Philadelphia, and it's unanimous, the nicest human to ever human, Mr. Ray Didinger, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It's great to be back here with all my friends from the Maxwell Club. And what a great, great weekend this has been. And thank you to the folks at Mohegan who have made us feel so welcome. This has been a great, great experience. Tonight, the Maxwell Football Club honors Nick Sirianni with the Greasy Neal Award as NFL Coach of the Year. It's fitting because Greasy Neal and Nick Sirianni have a lot in common. They both broke into pro football as players in Canton, Ohio. Greasy Neal played for the Canton Bulldogs with Jim Thorpe. Nick played for the Canton Legends of the Alliance Indoor Football League. Greasy made $25 a game. Hopefully Nick made a little bit more than that. <laughs> Greasy Neal and Nick each worked their way up the coaching ladder at various small colleges and finally got their chance to be a head coach with the Philadelphia Eagles. They both arrived in Philadelphia as virtual unknowns, but they built winning programs by daring to be different. Greasy bonded with his players by playing cards with them on road trips. Nick challenged his guys on a basketball court. Unconventional, but it helped build team chemistry. Greasy was the first pro coach to fully commit to the T formation. And if you look at films of those championship Eagle teams of the 1940s, you'll see an offense that was way ahead of its time. You could say the same thing about the current Eagles. Nick Sirianni has created a whole new style of offense built around a uniquely skilled quarterback in Jalen Hurts. A dynamic offense where going for it on fourth down is more like a given than a gamble. The Eagles went for it on fourth down 32 times this season. And they, and they were successful almost 70% of the time. Greasy Neal and Nick Sirianni each brought a bold kind of leadership to Philadelphia. And in 1922, Nick guided the Eagles to a franchise record 14 regular season victories an NFC championship, and a berth in the Super Bowl. Watch now for this little video about Nick Sirianni and the great season of 2022. In two years, all Nick Sirianni has done for the Philadelphia Eagles and their demanding fan base is win. In his first year, he inherited a broken team made mid-season adjustments, and managed to turn a four-win team in 2020 into a nine-win team in 2021. The second largest single-season turnaround in franchise history. This past season, in just his second year, Sirianni guided the Eagles to their best regular season record in franchise history, 14-3. And in two years overall, the Eagles are 23 and 11 under Sirianni. Since the NFL merged with the AFL in 1970, Sirianni became only the fourth NFL coach to win 14 games in their first or second season. Under Sirianni, the Eagles were number one in the NFC in yards per game, 
total yards and points per game. And number two in overall defense and first overall in passing defense. In just two years, Sirianni had the Eagles in their fourth Super Bowl in franchise history. The Maxwell Club is proud to honor Nick Sirianni with the Earl Greasy Neal Award. Well, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm blessed and honored to be here, um, and, and I'm looking at the names on this list of, of who won this award, and I see Bill Belichick, Andy Reid, uh, Tony Dungy, Dick Vermeil, Chuck Knoll. I'm, I'm very honored uh, to be on that. Uh, thank you, Mark Deano uh, and the Maxwell Board of Directors. Congratulations to all the other uh, award winners. Um, I spent my first part of the night uh, trying to convince Will Anderson to turn down when he gets drafted number one or number two or number three overall, to turn all those down all the way to pick 10, right, so that he could be an eagle. Um, I, I saw Eli Manning did that quite, quite some time ago, but maybe they can, we can do it for, uh, for 10 picks in a row, but uh, just, just honored to be up here with, with you guys as well. Um, I get to say this a lot, and I, and I do say this a lot. I'm 41 years old, and I'm still part of a team. I mean, in the greatest uh, team sport there is. And so um, I'm really honored, and uh, obviously when you're a part of a team, there's a lot of people to thank, um, which I'd like to do right now. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Lori uh, and, and Howie Roseman um, for just uh, – picking me to be the, the head coach of the, the Eagles and the, and the fantastic organization that we're involved in. Uh, a couple of, uh, and then the support staff that we have over there at NovaCare uh, back in Philadelphia. Um, you know, the support staff's unbelievable. Two of uh, the, the guys are here tonight uh, with our head of security, um, Dom, uh, Big Dom, Big Boo. Um, he's the best. He's just, he's always serving others and, and, and I really admire him and, and, and value our friendship and what he does for the organization. And, and Bob Lang, who is also here, um, who is the head of, uh, of media. And you guys saw my first press conference. It uh, wasn't so good. Uh, Bob's done a great job of getting me better uh, and preparing me each week. Um, I want to, I, one thing, uh, you know, I've got to meet Coach Mac Brown. Uh, I talked to, the, to uh, Coach Willie Fitz, too. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll uh, be able to agree with me on this. And, and one thing I, I say to our staff before the beginning of, of uh, draft season, I say, hey, guys, guys, come in here. You want to know what the secret to good coaching is? Get good players. And uh, <laughs> so, and two of them are here tonight. We got great players, uh, Jalen Hurts and, uh, and Brandon Graham, both captains. So thank you to all the players, especially those two guys that are here with us tonight. They're great leaders. They're great people. Um, they're great football players, and, and they're just going to keep getting better because of who they are as people. Um, you know, I've had a lot of coaches in my life that have helped me get to this spot. You know, Frank Reich, uh, Larry Karras, my brother Jay and Mike Sirianni, who are both coaches. And then uh, the best coach I've been around, my dad, Fran Sirianni, who's here with us tonight. He taught me how to be physically tough. Whether that was uh, being physically tough, whether that was fighting through food poison to make sure that he made me fight through food poisoning to make sure that I was uh, doing what I needed to do in the triple jump, long jump, or mentally tough, uh, Dad, with, uh, you know, with watching you fight and beat cancer three times. So thank you. Uh, my mom's also here, and I want to thank her. Uh, you know, my mom and dad, what's special is they've been at every single game that I've ever played or ever coached in. Uh, for the most part, there were some times in San Diego they didn't get to every game, but um, that's rare. Um, and my mom will be the first one to tell you when, when my dad was playing, uh, when my dad was coaching, she'd be the one playing catch with me out in the back. Um, and then to my best teammate and my best support staff that I have in my life, uh, my wife, Brett Sirianni. Um, 
she, she's moved everywhere. We've went from Kansas City to San Diego, right, to Indianapolis, to Philadelphia. So you can see we've went all over the country. Um, I'm not sure I thought she was going to actually move with me from San Diego to Indianapolis when she got off the plane and it was, it was raining, but she did. And, uh, you, know, she's, you know, she gives me tough love. Um, I like to tell this story when uh, we were getting beat in our second preseason game. It was halftime and New England was beating the crap out of us. Uh, Jalen, you, you didn't play in that game. We didn't let BG, you didn't play in that game either, but we were getting the crap kicked out of us. And, uh, and, we get, and they were booing us. At half, you guys, y'all were booing us at halftime. And, uh, and, I, and I get in the car, I get in the car with my wife after the game, and I go, can you believe that? It was the second preseason game, they're booing us at halftime. She goes, well, what did you give them to cheer about? Uh, and so whether it's that or whether it's after the, the Super Bowl where she's telling me how proud she is of me, um, I, cr I think I cried three times that game, once during the National Anthem, I think where everybody saw, once after we lost, and then once when my wife told me how proud she was of me. And so uh, just uh, thank you to all those people. And hey, I just want one. I just want one. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Nick Sirianni!